Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to the 13th episode of the Mind Over Market series. I want to believe it has been a great journey so far and I want to believe you have been learning along the way. In this episode, we're going to be talking about maintaining balance in life and trading, avoiding burnout. Now, traders experience this thing we call burnout, especially new traders. It's a very common occurrence. So in this video, we're going to be explaining how to avoid burnout. How do you know when you're um, burning out and what are the possible symptoms? Then how do you manage and get out of it? As a professional forex trader, it is important to maintain a healthy balance between your trading activities and personal life to avoid burnout. Burnout is a state of emotional, physical, and mental exhaustion caused by prolonged stress, and it can have a negative impact on your trading performance and overall well-being. In this video, we will explore the causes of trading burnout, the symptoms to watch out for, and practical ways to prevent and manage it. Now, causes of burnout, what are the possible causes of burnout. Trading burnout can be caused by a variety of factors, including the following. Number one, overtrading. When you trade too frequently or for too long, it can lead to exhaustion and burnout. Now, there are several traders that trade for too long. In our last video, we did say that the Forex market is open 24-5. That's 24 hours per day and for five days in every week. And that doesn't mean in any way that you should trade throughout this period. There are traders who stay awake all through the night to trade. There are those who stay from morning till evening trading. They are all buried in the market. They take up to 30 trades in one day. You don't want to be like that. There are people who even take more than that. You don't want to be like that. You don't want to try to catch every trend it leads to burnout so these are this number one cause of burnout and it's over trading number two lack of sleep i did talk about i just finished talking about traders who stay all through the night trading as a trader you need to have sufficient sleep if you don't sleep well your body your mind doesn't function well it is medically recommended that you have at least eight hours sleep per day you can't afford to do anything less than that. Sleep is essential for your physical and mental health. If you are not getting enough sleep, it can lead to fatigue and burnout. So as a trader, you need to have sufficient sleep. You don't want to fall for that trap that um, people say um, you need that um, eight hours sleep is too much per day, that eight hours is one third of the day. That doesn't make sense in any way. The way the human body is functioned or is configured to function is that eight hours sleep per day is reasonable and it is beneficial for the body. The same way um, a device, if we want to call the body a device, having worked for a while, it needs sufficient amount of time to rest. So three hours or four hours sleep per day is unhealthy. Now, number three, lack of exercise. Exercise is a great way to reduce stress and improve your overall well-being. If you are not getting enough exercise, it can lead to burnout. So exercise is also necessary as a trader. You need to take out some time and perhaps walk around, and hit the gym, do exercise, whatever works for you. Um, exercising doesn't have to be following a specific um or let's use the word generic way of exercise like going to the gym that may not be for everybody there are people who um who prefer swimming who prefer some other kind of exercise gymming is not the only form of exercise so if you're scared of gymming or you're not a fan of gymming there are other means of exercise and you need to utilize them number four lack of social support Trading can be a lonely profession, and if you do not have a support system, it can lead to burnout. 
So you need to have support both from family and friends. And of course, um, trading is a, is a lonely profession like we all know. So you need to consciously and deliberately make out time and be a part of perhaps a society, be a part of a social gathering to ensure that you still have a social life. Then number five, lack of balance. If you are not balancing your trading activities with other aspects of your life, such as family, friends, and hobbies, it can lead to burnout. So just like number four, um, number five is lack of balance. So as an individual, you must be able to strike a balance between your trading, which is your business, and socialization. Make out time to um, have interactions with your relatives, your friends, and your hobbies. So um, we've talked about exercise. Also make out, uh, make out time for exercise, make out time for your hobbies, and ensure you have a balanced life. Don't be all bent. Don't be all stationed on your trading decks. Symptoms of trading burnout. The symptoms of trading burnout can vary from person to person, but some common symptoms include number one, fatigue, feeling tired and lacking energy. So the first symptom of um, trading burnout is fatigue. You get tired. You get tired. You, you feel less energy. You can't sustain. Let's say you used to sit down for... Um, let's say four hours concentrating on the chart at the time to sit down for even 15 minutes makes you feel so stressed out and all of that so um fatigue is a num is the number one sign of trading burnout so once you see yourself having fatigue you know it's time to take a break number two is irritability feeling easily annoyed or frustrated this is one of the common signs of burnout. You easily get annoyed. Um, someone touches you perhaps in a playful manner. You don't find it funny and you're just easily annoyed. Of course, this is also related with overtrading and when you have losses. So once this occurs, you know that um, you're facing burnout and you need to do something about it. Number three is lack of motivation. Feeling unmotivated and disinterested in trading once you get to this level where you don't feel interested you don't feel motivated um you look at the chart and it seems like you're looking at the mirror you're not really seeing anything all you're seeing is just just a screen at this time you know that you've started experiencing burnout and you need to do something about it number four is poor performance making unnecessary and avoidable mistakes and experiencing losses poor performance is a great sign of burnout and like i said this is also related to overtrading and um, fatigue once you see that your performance is not going well you should know that you're burning out in fact if you stay there the next thing that will burn out will be your account so you need to do something once you experience this you know that there is a problem so you don't want the burnout to persist else you will totally lose interest in trading now let me tell you this many people have dropped out of trading have stayed off totally from trading because when they started experiencing these signs of burnout they felt it's just a challenge that comes with um, learning something new that um, you should just keep persisting and you'll get there someday no burnout is a sign that you need to take a break burnout is a sign that you're not doing something right perhaps you're not doing anything right sometimes that's what it means you're not doing anything right so you need to sit back and look what is wrong then how can i fix this so poor performance is one of the greatest factors of trading burnout and you need to um look out for what is what can you do to make this better and number five is physical symptoms headaches eye itching maybe your eye some people want eye some both eyes start itching um eye pain and other physical factors so these are physical symptoms and these are part of the symptoms of burnout 
So once you start having all of these pains, your head start aching and aches for long. Of course, when you're looking at your screen for too long, you get to, um, your eyes start aching, you start having headache. Now this, how long this happens varies with individuals. You see several traders use glasses like myself. I use glasses all the time and my glass has a blue coating. This is to protect my eye. So as a trader, you need something like this. You don't need, it doesn't need to be as sophisticated as mine. Mine is quite a sophisticated glasses, but you can just use a plain glass with blue coating. So that will um, help stop the blue rays from entering your eyes. And you need this every time you're trading, because once you spend up to four hours looking at your screen consistently, this sends signals to your brain and of course your eyes then it's of course leads to headache and eye defect so you don't want to get to the stage where um you now have eye issues you now to be you now have to be visiting optician regularly you now have to take treatment you now have to use lenses and all of those so it's if you have not gotten to that level you still have time to make corrections so guys we just launched a new forex course and it's a complete guide from beginners to advanced training if you go through this course i promise you i can assure you that you'll be able to trade by yourself comfortably and profitably it has over 30 videos let me scroll down for you to see it has about 30 videos you can see um section one um okay this section one and this section two you can see a good number of videos here i think section two is quite a lot then we have section three section three four five in section five is where we have the ebooks let me open it you can see that you see the ebooks then you can also see my book trading without tears it's also there so we have all of these in the forex course and like I said, it's a complete guide from beginners to advanced. The course is to be selling for $200, but because we're just launching, you can see the strikeout price. It is currently selling for $135, which is 100,000 Naira. So for the first 200 persons that will um, take advantage of this offer, that will buy, purchase the course now, you'll have the course for 100,000 Naira, which is equivalent of one hundred and thirty five dollars so click on the link in the description of this video and get started with your journey towards trading profitably now practical ways to prevent and manage trading burnout so we've talked about the symptoms we've talked about what burnout is so how do we manage and prevent trading burnout number one set realistic goals in our previous uh, episode we did talk about setting realistic goals a great problem of traders is that they want to uh, make it big within a short period of time that should not be you um, it takes a lot of time to make significant progress and we talked about um short short-term goals and long-term goals you have a long-term goal and work on the short-term goal the short-term goals should be what will help you attain the long-term goals and we did give an illustration so if you have not watched that video you should go check it out you need to um, have realistic goals in order to trade reasonably so that you don't easily burn out set achievable goals for your trading activities and make sure to take breaks when needed so after trading or yeah after trading once you notice that you're not I'm concentrating any longer take breaks you need frequent breaks as an individual and as a trader it helps your mind and it helps um, overcome or eliminate burnout then number two get enough sleep I did talk about um, not having sufficient sleep so a way to manage trading burnout is having enough sleep having sufficient sleep sleep well sleep enough so that when you wake up you feel rejuvenated you feel refreshed you feel re-energized you don't want to um sleep and you're waking up within a short while and you're waking up from sleep and you're still feeling tired 
you don't want that for yourself so take enough time and have sufficient sleep and it is good for your body aim to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep each night to ensure you are well rested so i said that you should have seven to eight hours of sleep it is very healthy for your body then number three exercise regularly we did talk about exercise incorporate regular exercise into your routine to reduce stress and improve your overall well-being so exercise is good for the body imagine sitting down like this maybe focus on your screen for up to six hours in one day when you stand up certainly you have back pain and with time your legs will start getting swollen so you see that it is necessary that you exercise so from time to time you take breaks stand up exercise maybe walk around and um, you could have exercise schedule you could choose to be exercising before you start trading you could also choose to exercise in between your trading time let's say you start trading um between 8 and 9 a.m you could choose to exercise at about 12 or 1 or between 12 and 1 then you go back to your trading by maybe two or three and perhaps close for the day so you need to incorporate exercise into your routine it is healthy it is necessary and it helps you relax it's good for your overall well-being then number four take breaks i've talked about this in several locations and because of this video that you need to take regular breaks throughout the day to rest your mind and recharge so taking breaks is necessary for your body it's necessary for your mind and it helps you think straight it helps you trade well so breaks are necessary some people uh, take breaks and go play video games some people go watch movie and all of these things whatever works for you do it but ensure you're always taking breaks number five maintain a healthy diet now your diet is a major part of your well-being a person who is unhealthy cannot really trade well let me put it this way if you are or let's use a generic um, a very common health issue headache if you are having incessant headache or very severe headache tell me how well you can concentrate on your chat even to look at the screen once the re reflection of the light from your device hits your eye you feel a sharp pain in your brain how do you concentrate how do you trade well in such scenario so you need to eat regularly and ensure you stay healthy you cannot isolate health from trading because an unhealthy person cannot trade well so ensure that you prioritize your health and do every necessary thing that ensures you are healthy so eating a good diet or a healthy diet is a necessary aspect that will help you manage or eliminate or prevent um, burnout then number six stay connected i think we said a bit about this in and when we're talking about causes of burnout that um not being connected to your relatives or um not socializing that's the word we use stay connected with family and friends to maintain a support system be able to draw the line between breaks and being distracted so as a trader in as much as we recommend um, giving time to um, socialization also ensure to draw the line between socialization or taking breaks and being distracted so your family members your relatives your friends should know when you are actually working and should respect that time then there are times you could want to socialize of course you give them attention ensure to be able to draw the line between taking breaks and being distracted so their presence should not cause a distraction there are times you need to give utmost attention to the chat of course you know that and if you fail to do that you either miss an opportunity or get in too late or make um, a bad trading decision you don't want any of that to be your case so you need to give utmost attention to everything that's needed per time last of all after trying these six or this first six and it doesn't seem to be working then you need to try number seven which is seek professional help if you are experiencing symptoms of burnout seek professional help from a therapist or counselor so if you've tried to sleep to take breaks socialize eat well and nothing has changed then you need to see a therapist or a counselor 
In conclusion, maintaining balance in life and trading is essential for avoiding burnout. By setting realistic goals, getting enough sleep, exercising regularly, taking breaks, maintaining a healthy diet, staying connected, and seeking professional help when needed, you can prevent and manage trading burnout. Remember that trading is just one aspect of your life and it is important to balance it with other aspects to ensure your overall well-being.